Welcome back inside the Madison Marriott West Hotel in Middleton, Wisconsin. We are set for day two of Midwestland 20's Rocket League 2v2 Open presented by Mad City. I am Curtis, I'm along with Dazrin as we get into the winner's quarterfinals in this double elim bracket on day two. Yeah, it's going to be uh, an exciting bracket, uh, like you said, double elimination as well. 2v2 tournament for those who are just now joining us, yep. and we have again, First matchup is the winner's quarterfinal between Mech OG and Thumb in the Backpack. Yep, should be good. Mech OG, they showed a, uh, a, a powerful performance yesterday in the group stages, and Thumb in the Backpack also had a pretty good day as well. So this should be a pretty competitive matchup. It's a best of five as we get here. And as we get farther into the tournament, the more competitive matches we are going to see. But $1,000 is what these guys are playing for, a lion's share of it anyway. And uh, so even if they do lose this one, being a double limb, they go down to the lowers, and they still have a shot. Yeah, exactly. Ben, uh, you want to talk about Mech OG and Thumb in the Backpack real quick? We saw both teams play yesterday, and right now going into this matchup, it definitely, look, definitely looks like Mech OG are the favorites to win this mm -hmm. one. Uh, they've been playing phenomenally yesterday, and then they'll move on to – if that, those, you know, kind of predicted uh, outcomes do happen, they'll move on to face the winner of – uh, of the Seoul Esports match, Seoul and Bongo Cats, yep. where it looks like in that matchup, Seoul would be expected to win that one. So after this winners, we definitely have an exciting semifinal on the way if things go, you know, according to the uh, the script, yeah. so to speak. <laughs> according <laughs> to the script, then that's always the uh, famous last words of our Rocket League projections. With that said, we believe the teams are ready to go. We're getting the... Uh, the, they're getting the, into the lobby, and we will have this match up for you. Huge thanks, by the way, to everybody over at uh, Mad City, also Midwestland, uh, making things as easy as possible for our production setup here inside the Superior Room. As you see a whole lot of chaos happening behind us, yeah, there's games from all walks. So we are ready to go, though, and we will have the countdown on your screen shortly. Best of five ready to go on Manfield Night as we are underway. Five minutes on the clock. And the first touch is going to go over to Mech OG. They'll pound it into the blue corner. On the back back with a chance to clear, but a really good challenge. Going to keep this in offensively. Bounced off the back wall. That was close, but unfortunately not going to be close enough to put it on to the net. 20 seconds in. Game one of a best of five. This will pound off the sidewall. Angled chance, but a good challenge. Going to cut off the angle, and it looks like Thumb in the Backpack able to clear. Yeah, Thumb in the Backpack already being able to make a good save, but look at the control from Echo G. Leftical just going to carry this downfield, and Wildcat playing that midfield, able to easily recept this. These guys are looking to try to get in form as early as possible, oh. and look at Wildcat already a first goal out the gate. Super patient play from Wildcat as well. Realizes he has not an immediate challenge after he beats the first one, and the second pop beats the first defender clean, and a little bit of a late challenge by the last line of defense. And already, Mech OG with one on the board. An early goal for them, and they got to feel comfortable in this game number one. We'll see whether or not them in the backpack can equalize as there's still four minutes, 13 seconds yeah. on the clock. It's, it's real early in this game. Real, real early. Tons of Rocket League left to play. Again, a best of five, which is a sharp contrast to what we saw in the first day of action. This will be up the sidewall. Thumb in the backpack trying to get it up there, but it's not going to go. This will pound into the corner. And attempted clear, good defensive play. Now Wildcat's going to put this deep into blue territory. Good challenge, but it's a hot ball out to the top of the box. Leftical is up. He's going to try to get contact off the nose. Couldn't quite get it done. And Thumb Bump is going to go up to try to put this again deep back into the orange corner. I want to point out right now, Mecco G, especially Leftical, is moving this ball downfield in the air a lot. And he's not being challenged by Thumb in the backpack. He's oh. able to immediately put his team in an offensive position. And then they're able to set up shot after shot while Thumb in the backpack are stuck on their defensive end. They got to start matching him in the air if they want to be able to play this game more tighter. Snarky up the wall. Really good challenge by Wildcat. It'll be up the side. Over the midfield boost, it was a pass play that didn't quite turn out in the Mecco G side's favor. This will be a good challenge. It'll send it up off the ceiling. That's going to be hard off the back. Double touch opportunity. Chance in front ends up being a pass for Leftical, and he makes no mistake. It's a 2-0 lead. And you can look good read by Leftical here. Wildcat, first off, a high touch off the back wall, and the defense doesn't have an answer for it. And all Leftical has to do is put that shot in place, and the great Shot placement by him, 2-0, to zero. Mech OG up. So two minutes gone as well in a 2-0 game. Some of the backpack want to try to get something on the board here fairly quickly. This will be taken on a challenge into the Mech OG corner. 
Opportunity as they play with it. Wildcat super patient play, but he waits a little bit too long, and left goal is made to make a defensive touch. That's going to go off the top. It's a vertical play in front. Thumb of the backpack not able to get it done. Thump bump had a chance. Could not quite finish it. And it'll be up to Snarky. That's a problem. Bounce shot score. Wildcat's going to put that far side 3 0 lead. And you see Snarky here. He's trying to take this ball up the wall. Just a bad touch. It goes right off his hood. And then he has to go on the crossbar to see if he can make an attempted save. But this shot is all Wildcat on a seemingly empty net as Mecco G has scored three goals in the first half of this game. Halftime just about to come and go in game number one. And Mecco G off to a hot start. In this best of five, it'll be Snarky trying to put it down. Thumb bump all rotates all the way back. It'll be a 1v2 the other way. Good pinch is going to be out top of the box, but a little bit too far for the intended target. As this will be pounded off the back and roll around that back wall. Chance for Mech to move it into the offensive end. They'll put it into the corner. Defensive play. Looks like Snarky's going to have a little bit of control. Bounces it down. Has a patient touch. Beats one. And it looks like it's a nice little play by Thumb Bump, but he can't, he can't get it past the past line of defense. And it's a 3-0 lead. It remains as Mech OG trying to just kind of kill time here. Yeah, they definitely are. But, I mean, they're playing close to the ball. You can just see left to go and Wildcat. They're both dribbling the ball upfield. Want to make sure that they don't give up possession too much because, again, it's all about control at, in this stage of the game, especially high level twos. And that's exactly what Mech OG have been doing in this game number one. Just a lot of control, whether it's on the ground or on the air. And it's been hard for Thumb in the backpack to really adjust to that. That's why they haven't been able to get a goal on the board. And Mech OG making touches with purpose, too, which makes a big difference because you see them kind of putting the ball in places for reasons. And Thumb in the backpack just playing reactionary Rocket League right now, which is not going to help them in the long term as they try to crawl their way back into this game one. Over the halfway line, up his left goal. He's going to try to get one pass. That was thumb bump. Not going to happen there. It'll be a chance for Mech again to take control. Pass across, looking towards the left wing side. And a nice save coming out. Looks like Snarky got there first. Yeah, good read there by Snarky to read the pass, cut it out. Now you got thumb bump working his way down the field. But again, he just gives up possession. And then Wildcat is going to easily carry this. And now they're back on defense, back on their own end. They have to be able to cut this off. And again, just start to find that control that Mech OG have been having all game to make sure that they're not easily giving up possession. If they are, they're putting Mech OG in a bad spot. That's what they need to get into, but they haven't been able to do it. With 30 seconds remaining, this looks like a Mech OG game one. It does indeed. That pass was intended for, that was, uh, that was Leftical on the attempt there, not quite able to get it done. That's still a chance in front, and Leftical's going to put that in the net, make it a 4 nothing lead, and probably going to cinch game one. And you see just this bounce off the ceiling, thumb bump in a bad spot. He flicks it because he wants to make sure the shot's on target from Wildcat, so he has to clear it out, but the clear doesn't help him out because it's away from his teammate and right towards Leftical. He has an easy shot on that. 19 seconds left should be all she wrote for game number one. Be good for Thumb in the backpack to try to get one before this game ends. Get them some momentum going back forward. Thumb Bump's going to try to get something done. He will fly underneath the ball, unfortunately. And that is going to sing the end for game numero uno. As Mech OG able to take game one fairly handily by a score of 4-0. Yeah, and Mech OG, I mean, again, it was just, it, it seemed like their game throughout the entirety of that uh, game number one. Just whether it starts off, you see left to go, control into the air, help, trying to set up Wildcat as much as possible. But then um, later on in the match, they after they score a couple of goals, they take it slow, mm -hmm. pull out that dribble play, bait out one or two defenders, and then the defense just gets so caught up in the moment and like bad mistakes happening here and there that they scramble, and then there's nothing else they can do, and they just... Mech OG just tries to break the defense down until they have the easiest shot possible, and they take it and score it. Yeah, there was, and you saw a little bit of uh, Thumb in the Backpack's problem there. They were trying to play a little bit too fast for the situation that they were in. They lose control of the ball on the sidewall up into the corner. They fly underneath the ball on the wall. They just, they're trying to rush their touches, and they don't have a lot of intent to them. Makes for a very big problem going forward as you get in the later parts of the game. Yeah, you saw the goal, the third goal from Wildcat in that game where Snarky is trying to seemingly just dribble the ball up the wall, but it bounces right off his hood. So since it bounces off his hood, it bounces off the back wall. So now he has to scramble to make a save, but it's just like these, these missed touches here and there that have put them in such a bad spot. Yeah, exactly. And we'll see what game two has in store. The A good start is imperative for Thumb of the Backpack as we get going inside game number two. Five minutes on that clock. 
as we are underway. It's going to be Snarky who is going to miss on the defensive touch. Thumb on the backpack has to put this in the corner. And that's going to be Wildcat putting this offensively corner to corner, side to side. Challenge coming in. Good job by Wildcat. That's going to be off the back. Could be a double touch opportunity. Chance near side scores for Wildcat 20 seconds in. The big miss is here from Thumb in the backpack on defense. Wildcat just beats the defender to the ball, and seemingly that net's wide open. No one home. And Mecco G are already starting off this game, too. The set, keeping a pace from where our game one ended. Yeah, they're uh, picking up where they left off, as it said. Thumb in the backpack need a retaliatory goal. They need to get something on the board. It looks like Lefticle's going to try to do something from the rafters here. He can't quite get the second piece of contact. Wildcat with a seed off the back wall. But a good defensive touch by, I believe, that's Snarky, who is not going to be able to, to keep control in that corner. Hard touch. Puts it right back into Mecco G's possession. That's going to be far side and wide of that left post. We play about 45 seconds in. Good touch off that back. Up is Wildcat. Wildcat making things happen and forcing the issue with that offensive end. Left to go with the pass towards the sidewall. He'll grab boost and try to continue. Looking for the double touch. Nearly had it. Needs a defensive touch. Does thumb and backpack, and they get one. But it's, again, Mecco G reading those clears really, really well and able to take immediate possession back into the offensive end. Yeah, I'm liking the defense, though, from thumb and the backpack. They seem to be, again, just keeping the balls as close to them as possible. But the big misses oh. are coming in. And Mecco G almost had a second one on the board. We'll see whether or not thumb and the backpack can regain control of this series, because even now, it just doesn't look like they have anything. No, and that's going to be off of the crossbar. Still a chance for Mecco G, but it looks like that was going to be left to go a little late to the party after the demo. 3.23 to go in game number two, a game that really every game seems to be a must win right now for Thumb in the Backpack, who are starting a little behind the foot. This will be in the corner. Chance for Snarky. It's going to be out to Thumb. He's going to try to pound this off the corner wall. Wildcat with the takeaway, left goal trying to finish it up. That's an empty net, and Snarky has the first goal for Thumb in the Backpack in this series. And that's what I want to see from Snarky. They've been looking for that goal all series long. They get it in game two, the first one. Total, total scoreline between the two teams, five to one, but look how quick he gets to the ball. He was expecting that shot, beats out the defender, and is able to equalize here in game number two. Three minutes to go, roughly, in game number two. Finally, the Thumb in the Backpack boys have evened up the game and been able to put one on the board. That's a nice angled shot left to go a little bit wide of that left post. Be a control play for Snarky. Wildcat puts it down. That's a chance for Thumb, and that Thumb is going to miss on the placement. Puts it just wide. That pinch is going to go back towards the oh thumb no. net. And that's a problem. And Leftical is the solution. It's a 2-1 lead. You can see Thumb in the backpack. They want to turn up the speed, but this is not how you do it. He didn't need, Snarky didn't need to touch that at all, and the fact that he does try to go for the challenge to keep that ball in the Mech OG in, only it just helps them score that goal. Very unfortunate touch, but so now they got a little bit more work to do as we approach the bottom half of this game too. Thumb in the backpack need another answer. See if they can get that, or if Mech OG is starting to find their groove in the second game. Wildcat comes off of the intersection straight down. Chance over the halfway line. Thumb in the BP, working in the offense at Snarky. Snarky loses possession into that Mecco G corner. Wildcat gets it past Thumb Bump. Good takeaway, though. And it goes right to Leftical, who has a hard touch. He's going to try the finish, finish on it. No. Good play defensively to stay with him and make it a patient clear. Still, Mecco G with possession on a good forecheck. Oh, wow. Oh, that's an empty net as well. And Wildcat able to put that one home. It seems some of the backpack are imploding defensively. And Snarky, you see, right after he makes this miss, he just doesn't move. He, he realizes last, last man back, you got to be able to make the touch. He can't get it. And uh, it's like a misread on the ball or something. And Wildcat, he just, again, it's just an open net. A thumb in the backpack, they seem to be uh, losing the control. That it seemed like they were getting into this game. Snarky, though, with a good shot, just got to get that momentum back on offense. Yeah, they need to get better touches as well as they get a good one here. It's a nice bounce. That was Thumb Bump trying to clear the back line, but Wildcat smart and responsible, takes the ball back to midfield. This will be a chance. Left to goal, trying to keep it himself, and he will lose out on this ball. Snarky plays it well defensively. Yeah, you can see Left to just taking that uh, corner boost as he's making his way back. Snarky now at 12, boost has uh -oh. to get the pads, but the double commit, they're not in immediate danger. Snarky playing it slow. He's doing the smart thing, but look at this. Mech OG playing around these guys. Oh, no. Leftical in front, but it's not going to go in. 
Regardless, though, they still got that two-goal cushion. Maybe Snarky, if he can do something here. But with that miss and the demo on Thumb Bump, this offense is going to oh, struggle read. with a minute and left. Good read, trying to put it in the offensive corner. Chance for Thumb Bump. That goes off the ceiling and then straight down. It'll be up the side ramp. Good takeaway. That's a nice oh. little carry, and that is a gorgeous hesitation play by Leftical, making it a 4-1 advantage. Yeah, I, do, I love this carry here from Left. He's been looking for a nice solo goal. Pretty sure he wants to get one where he gets a flip reset at some point, <laughs> but it's not going to happen in this game. Well, I mean, there's still 56 seconds left, but either way, that that simple touch goal has given them a 4-1 lead with 55 seconds left. Beck OG are looking strong, to get, strong favors to get, take game number two. And what likely is going to be a date with Seoul Esports after the third win in this series for either club. Not taking the thumb in the backpack for granted here. They still have a chance, albeit the way Mech OG is playing seems to be a small one at this point. Snarky's going to be in the offensive corner. 30 seconds left. That's a long lob and a great pass. Left a goal. Good defensive play by Snarky to get up. And it'll be Thumb who knocks it back into the offensive corner. Good pass across, but a little bit too tall for his teammate. Wildcat over to left goal, but a good takeaway. Snarky trying to make something happen here. He's going to try to put this into the middle. Good challenge by Wildcat. Great read. Only one thing to do now, and that's put it in the empty cage, but he puts it off the post instead. And that is going to seal the fate of game number two as Mech OG one win away from moving into the winner semis. Yeah, and right now, Mech OG, again, just complete control of the series for the most part. And I'm liking what I'm seeing. You got 10 shots from them total in that last game. And yep. I believe the score line in total, I want to say, is like 8 to 2 or 8 to 1? Uh, 8 to eight to 1, yes. 8 to 1 eight to in one. this series in mm -hmm. total goals scored. So if Thumb in the backpack pull off this reverse sweep, I might lose my mind. <laughs> but, you and I both. But you it's definitely both. looking like Mech OG just as, uh, is going to seal the deal. Uh, I don't want to see a sweep here, but that's what it's looking like. Yeah, it definitely looks like that at the moment. But uh, what we will say is that, uh, that the Thumb in the backpack boys, they need a good start. They absolutely have to get the first goal, and they have to hold Mech OG into their own end. If they can do that, maybe they, uh, you know, they'll only be in danger of the counterattack. But Mech OG just playing a very possession-based Rocket League game right now, and it's really hurting their chances. They're hurting yeah, Thumb's and, chances. And you look at them and how they how they've been playing, and it's just like you see where they make mistakes on offense. There have been times where they've been double committing. There have been times where they've been too aggressive on the ball, and you can take those and turn that around and use it into your own favor. You wait for the double commit. You seemingly have an open net against you. But it doesn't seem like them in the pack pack have been able to realize that. They just want to get control of the game in general. And that's what they got to do here as we get into game number three. Game number three is underway. It is imperative to for Thumb in the Backpack to get a goal to start things out. You, they do not want to play behind any longer in this series. Leftical is going to turn back and try to get this across the goal mouth. Good takeaway as you get the nose directly on the ball. That's a pass out into the middle. It's a problem. Communication lets, lets him defer but it will be a play that's defended well. Thumb in the backpack on defense here. They need another defensive touch, but it could be too little too late. And a good save by Snarky as he gets there just in time. Up over the halfway line. Left goal. Down, that's a chance. Good passing play. It looked like a uh, volleyball volley there. Wildcat with the delicate touch off the hood. Can't put it past the goal line as both members of Thumb in the backpack right there. Yeah, and right now, Thumb in the backpack there. Doing good keeping this at midfield. You see Thumb Bump has a lot of boost here. He has to beat Lethical to the ball, oh. but he misses. And Lethical scores the first one here in game number three. What a win. That's a hard, that's a difficult challenge as well. He's got to come from across the top of the box to try to get there before Lethical does. And Lethical is right there. Looks like he was just reading different contact there if yeah. he, it wasn't a miss. Yeah, it's, he's definitely going for the block there on the play. And unfortunately, Lethical is taking a slower route to the ball than he is. So he's just moving too fast, has to readjust midair, and it just takes him all off course. And that's going to be off the back. Mech OG get the first goal, which is not what Thumb in the Backpack wants to hear as they try to answer. Their winner's bracket life on the line. Still the lower bracket to go through if indeed they do get knocked out here. This will be a chance for Leftical. Taken well away. Snarky going to try to follow this. He'll take possession up the corner. Good patient play defensively by Wildcat. Thumb and Thumb Bump is going to knock this hard off the corner. That could be a problem for Thumb the backpack, but they do recover defensively. Snarky with the good rotation back. 
at the halfway line we go. Still 3.24 to go. Pass into the middle. Thumb bump couldn't quite receive the pass, and the defensive touch is gorgeous from left to go, even with the blue trail. Still a chance. That's going to be a nice touch from Wildcat, but it's not nice enough. That's an empty net, and they score. Thumb bump able to tie the game up at one apiece. And the, the good effort here offensively from Thumb in the backpack. What a touch there from uh, Snarky because he baits out Wildcat, puts him in a tough spot to where he can't get a good clearing, and then it's just an open net for him to score. And so great effort there and a good equalizing here as we are about to approach the three-minute mark. 193 seconds to go in game number three as Mecco G trying to get the sweep and move into the next round. Face the winner of Seoul Esports and Bongo Cats. Into the corner it goes. Good demo. That's an empty net, but it looks like uh, <laughs> Snarky couldn't quite turn around and get back to that ball in time, so he tried to defer. Off the back wall. Mecco G in the offensive end. Chance for Wildcat. He'll lose the ball in the corner, but then comes across and takes it away, sends it wall to wall, side to side for Leftical. Good takeaway. Thumb bump trying to fall on top of it. Nearly does just that. That will bounce laterally. And it might be an opportunity for Snarky to take control, but falling on top of it is going to be Wildcat. It'll land right on top of Leftical here. He will try to take possession in his own corner. And there was a pinch on the ground. I believe it was either by Thumb Bump or Snarky. One of them went up, but the other played patient. And even though he had an opportunity to read the ball off the bounce, take probably a seemingly uh, shot, in, uh, shot into a seemingly open net, but they didn't take that opportunity. And they got to speed up and just try to force Meko G into a bad spot if they want to have any hope of coming back in the series. They did it in their first goal. And Obviously, it worked out. They got their first goal, but they haven't been able to do that again. They've been playing passively, and look how much space they're giving Mecco G. They have oh. a breakaway play here. This could be it. That, could, uh, that is indeed a is. runner, and Snarky is going to give Thumb in the backpack their first lead of the series. And I mean, we're looking from Snarky's perspective, but there's Thumb bumped. What a win on the challenge. Just set Snarky up, and left to go. He can't get back in time. Snarky immediately jumps on that. And now, for the first time in the series, Thumb in the backpack have the lead. Indeed, two unanswered goals puts them in front with a minute 50 to go. 110 seconds for those of you counting at home. This will be a chance for Leftical to bring him back even right away. Hesitation what a play. Save. Big save. Snarky able to get it away from the goal line. Still 141 to go. This will bounce offensively for Mecco G and Wildcat. Makes no mistake in the far side. And Wildcat comes up big. Equalizing goal here for Mecco G. He gets to the ball first, reads it off the wall, and Thumb Bump has no chance in net. Wildcat immediately, he's going to read his own touch anytime. But it's a tough save for Thumb to make. And 138 left. Thumb in the backpack. They got to score one. They got to take this game if they want to stay alive here in winter's quarters. This will be off the sidewall off the kick. Thumb Bump. Could not quite make contact. That's an empty wow. net to shoot at. Where is the defense? Snarky able to put that one home and give them back the lead. You're talking about where's the defense? Where has this offense been all series? Obviously, it's a misplay, though, for Mech OG. But the fact that Snarky's even there to take advantage of it is unseen. Of We haven't seen these guys score this, this big of goals in a game yet. I'm loving yeah. what I'm seeing from Thumb in the backpack. This is great. Good stuff. Taking advantage of opportunities. They'll try to get a fourth one here. This will pound off the corner wall. Chance oh, on a, a demo. nice demo. There it is for Thumb Bump. Good save from Wildcat. Able to keep the ball away from the goal line. Still a chance for Thumb, but the offensive chance for Snarky goes by, and it'll be a dribble play for Wildcat. Pass across to Lefticles. Wildcat will go to the side wall, try to boost into this. Near side chance. Well taken by Thumb Bump. Off the sidewall. Snarky loses that challenge, and Wildcat will have it in the offensive corner. What can he do with it? Patient play, passing play, Ooh. then near side for Leftical. Super nice pass and a great finish. And this is just game awareness here by Leftical. He sees where Thumb Up is on the play, knows that he has to turn around if he wants to have any hope of making a challenge. So it's up to Snarky to make that save on the play. So all Leftical has to do is put it in the right spot with enough speed, and he does just that to equalize this game three. Inside of a minute left, Plinko play back to the Mecco G what? net and Thumb Bump has the kickoff goal. It's a 4-3 lead. What is going on in game three? Seven goals scored here, and it's off of a kickoff pinch. Oi. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Mecco G one step forward, two steps back. They're down one again. They need to find a hero with 52 seconds to play. This will be a kickoff that goes back into the Mecco G corner. Wildcat going to try to follow this. Has enough boost to work with, it would seem. He's going to get bumped out of the way, however. Chance for Thumb Bump. Thumb looking, turning, shooting, and that's going to be just wide. Wildcat with a play to get it back into the offense or defensive corner for him. 
That's a pass out for Leftical. Leftical off the back, and he's going to try to follow it himself. The double touch is just wide. Nearly true, but can't find it with 30 seconds left. Yeah, had no boost when he was going up for the double touch. Otherwise, he could have had more control of where he placed that shot. Just did the best with what oh. he has. There's a beat there, but Starkey able to clear it out. They're going to try to apply some pressure here when they had Wildcat caught out. But with 10 seconds left, all Thumb in the backpack need to do is take control of this ball, and they stay alive for just another game. They give it away to Wildcat, though. He Ooh. wants a quick shot. That hasn't hit the ground yet. Thumb in the backpack. Stay alive for one more here in the winner's corner. At least one. It is two to one. The Thumb in the Backpack boys are still down. Neko G still one win away, but that was a much better effort we saw from them all around and some rare misplays from Mecco G, at least given the first two games of the series. There was a lot to happen that game, dog. Definitely some rare misplays from Mecco G, but also uh, great offense by Thumb in the Backpack. Just able to actually take control and see where those opportunities for goals to happen, and then they took them this time. It, we just got news from our excellent production team that Seoul <laughs> 3 0 Bongo. So they're yep. going to be moving on to the semifinals. So, winner of this matchup plays Seoul Esports, and we'll have that after this one. But right now, we're looking at Mech OG and Thumb in the Backpack. And we're going into game number four, Curtis. We are. What are you thinking uh, about Thumb in the Backpack? You think they can carry this energy? Uh, they're going to have to try. I mean, at this point, uh, that's another opportunity for them to get a good start. They had to come back from behind at the start of this game, the, this last game again. And they, again, it's imperative they get the first goal and keep Mecco G on their heels. That said, they can also force a decisive game five should they win this game. Yeah, and this is honestly the fastest I've seen these guys uh, mm -hmm. in this entire series. So coming out and keeping that momentum and keeping that same energy onto the ball is going to be crucial as we get into game number four. We are ready to go. Five minutes on the clock. Could be the last game in the upper bracket for Thumb in the Backpack, but it also could be the fourth of five in this series. This will be up the sidewall. Chance for Leftical on, or Wildcat tried for a pass. Leftical will turn away. Snarky gets a long touch towards the far side in the Mecco GN. Looks like it'll be a chance for Wildcat to take it in. Oh, hesitation play, oh. and it is gorgeous from Wildcat. Give them a one nothing advantage. And does he have the boost? We got him. Yeah, he has him. He has the boost. Look at this. Oh. Goes for the block oh. and then gets the flick. Just complete control of the ball all the way through. And obviously the failed block on defense is what leads to Wildcat being able to take that shot. But man, is it a stylish first goal for Mech OG. And that's what they needed to try to get back into the groove here. 22 seconds in. This will be off the back in the thumb end. Thumb bump's going to hammer this off the sidewall, but it goes right to his teammate. Chance for Snarky. Can't do it. Thumb bump going to put it off of the sidewall, but it's taken away by Leftical, who loses the angle on the offensive touch. Here comes Wildcat. Oh, he has that read. Nasty double. He's got it. Oh, it's gorgeous, and it's a 2 nothing lead. You can tell as soon as he hits this ball right off the wall, he knows where it's going. He has the boost, and he's going to get the second touch. You see Snarky. Oh, he flips right as <laughs> his wheel goes off the post. He's stuck and can't do anything. Unfortunately, thumb in the backpack down by two in game number four, but Wildcat is warming up. Yeah, <laughs> he's heating up, and that is definitely a thing from him. We'll see if he can continue that. Chance for thumb of the backpack to get back on at least to a two to one score line, but Wildcat is going to follow this into the empty net after a loss of possession at midfield. Three goals in the first minute for Mech OG. This is bad if you are thumb in the backpack. They can't afford to drop any more nope. games. They got to score three goals straight to equalize. They only were able to do that in one game out of this entire series. It's going to be rough. It all starts with one, though. They got to get on the board once before they can get on the board three times. We'll see if they can do that. This will be a thumb bump kickoff. It goes hard off the sideball, but it's right to Mecco G, the passing play. Not a lot on it. And back the other way comes Snarky. Or actually, that's Thumb. That's off the back to Snarky. That's a problem. Leftical on the overdrive is going to try to get this turned, but he's out of boost and out of options. He's going to try to have to put this towards center. He's going to try a ceiling play instead and nearly got it done. The individual effort very strong, but not with any fruit on that particular effort. Over the halfway line, Snarky's there. That Plinko off the ceiling is going to go off the back right there to Thumb Bump, who at least gets back one. It's a 3-1 score line. And you said they had to score one, Curtis, and they did. And mm -hmm. right now, with 3.26 left on the clock, there's still plenty of time for them to mount this comeback. And look at that pressure from Thumb Bump. He's not going to wait for Wildcat to recover on that one. He sees that there's no way he's making, the, making a touch on the ball, so he takes advantage of that opportunity. 3.26 left, and we got to see if Thumb Bump can get two more on the board to at least equalize here. Oh, defensive touch goes back towards his own net. Wildcat in a tough spot. 
Not really sure what to do with it. He's going to have to find something to do. He does off the back wall. It's right to Leftical. Leftical might have enough boost on the feather to drop this home. Good save by Thumbbump as he gets back to the goal line just in time. And then a great play by Snarky. That's an empty net to work with. Can he get there first? He got it. He can. It's a 3-2 lead. And two goals within uh, 30 seconds of each other as Snarky super aggressive on the ball. He had no boost left on the tank. He had to get that win. And then he jumps over Wildcat just to make sure he can hit that ball in net. Great offensive effort for Snarky. 3-2, 3-0-1 to go. Thumb in the backpack back in this series. All he need is one more to get him back on even terms. Giveaway over the head of Snarky. Thumb bump is going to take possession up the sidewall. A little bit of deference there, but a good defensive play. Keeps it in the offensive zone for Mecco G for at least a moment. And here comes Snarky. Snarky off the corner wall. Chance in front, well read by Wildcat. He's going to get the demo as well as he puts the thumb of the backpack boys on the back heels. Make that two demos and an empty defense off the back. Right in front, it's Wildcat who puts it in and the physical play coming out from Echo G. Yeah, definitely the demo here. And then Snarky has immediately just a pinch that goes the wrong way. By the time Thumb spawns, it's already too late. Wildcat just increasing their lead by two. But we're approaching halftime. Six goals scored so far. We could see six more. <laughs> <laughs> very, very well good. Offense not off, not uh, scart, not scarce in this particular series as uh, English becomes a little bit more difficult. This will be over the halfway line. Oh, no. Miss from Snarky. That's a problem. Thumb bump. Needs what a, a save. save. And he's got one off the crossbar and post. That's a big play defensively to bail out his teammate. Yeah, Snarky has to be careful taking that over Ooh, his yeah. net. Wildcat's in a better position. He could definitely have scored that one. But still, thumb in the backpack. This has been a great effort for them in the last minute or two just to try to get back into this game. We need to see more of that aggression. But right now, Mecco G, they're just they're playing this game where they have control. Oh, they almost met up for the pass. But luckily for thumb in the backpack, no contact. And Snarky trying to get this back out. But thumb, in the, thumb bump is in a tough spot. That'll plink out hard off the back wall, at least, and get it back into the Mecco G corner. They can try to regroup and possibly mount some offense. Thumb bump, diving in, that's a problem. Snarky's the last man back. He's gonna have a chance on his own back wall. Taken far side, Wildcat puts it across the crossbar and it'll go right to Leftical. Defensive touch by Snarky, puts it in his own corner. Thumb bump's gotta decide what to do here. He will go for it. Gets better contact, has a decent bit of boost. Good long play towards that Mecco G net that Leftical is equal to. Leftical up the sidewall. He will boost into this, has it on the nose, try to carry it himself. He's got the angle, but a good takeaway from Thumb Bump on defense. Now it's time to get this ball deep into the orange side if the Thumb of the Backpack Boys can do it. They cannot play offense from this side of the field, and a good job to shrink the field done by Mecco G so far. Mecco G have just been playing this ball around the field, today, just taking up as much time as possible while they have that two goal cushion, still trying to get some interesting shots in but still as long as they have the two goal lead they don't mind running this clock out it's thumb in the backpack though who are in a tough spot they need to force the issue they have not been doing that for the last two minutes and now with 30 seconds left they only have about two more drives on this ball otherwise it's going to be dg and we'll see them in the lower bracket they got to make two both of them count that's going to go off the sidewall needing this to get directly onto net and that's not going to work. Another great touch, and it looks like that should kill any chance of them being able to get two. They still may get one, but it's not going to matter. That's off the intersection. Crossbar post, and eventually will creep its way in. Leftical puts the game away. Yeah, that, he absolutely does. And you got to give props to Wildcat for an amazing effort yeah. just to give him that uh, shot chance. Doing the most he can. I mean, they're a great team. We'll see them. They'll be moving on to the next round, but the semifinals, it doesn't get easier from here. No, not at all. They've got a date with Seoul Esports coming up next, and they're one of the world beaters that we saw in the Swiss in group stages as well. They'll be fun to watch, but that is all she wrote for Thumb in the Backpack in the upper bracket. They will move down and back the other way, or staying in the upper bracket is going to be Mech OG, and what an all-around performance from them. They hit a little bit of a speed bump in that game three, but it was a, uh, they ultimately, they were able to do the job. Yeah, they were. And I mean, that it just shows like how ready they are for today and how ready some of these teams are coming out here, but it's still a great effort from them in the backpack uh, in that matchup because it looked like for a second that they had the potential to come back. So we'll see whether or not they keep that energy moving forward in the lower bracket and if we see them later on. But again, Mecco G, they have a date with Soul Esports, but for you guys watching, all of us have a date with Mom, 
Buy Me Legos and Game of Thrones. Now the the names, the names are goofy, but the teams are serious, and yeah. it's going to be a hype matchup. That so. is indeed, and that is indeed. Winners semis coming up in just a little bit. With that said, we will take a short break here from Midwestland 20, and the Mad City GG Rocket League Open. We'll be back. 